Before he began his illustrious Hall of Fame UFC career, George St. Pierre used to actually go by his middle name, David. And not only that, he used to create trading indicators, the most famous of which is the DSP indicator we are going over today. As you can see, GSP does not believe this story, and neither should you. No, it was not GSP. It was John Ellers, actually, who created the uh, the DSP indicator. And this is going to be a very uh, different indicator than we have seen before. It actually does not fit our normal criteria, um, but you can use it just the same, which is good because after a while, these things all start to kind of look the same, even though behind the scenes, they're very, very different and they can be very useful in their own way. This is pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Now, uh, if you're new, understand that uh, what some of the things we say here aren't going to make a lot of sense, but that's okay. We do things our own way. And if you want to do things our way, you go to nonsenseforex.com, read that first page, watch that first video, and you will be well on your way. But for the rest of us, let's get into this guy. The year was 2000, um, which does fit within our 1996 and on threshold. Uh, John Ellers, again, who is famous in the indicator space. This is one of his. And what type is this? It's not a zero cross. It is not a two lines cross. It's not a chart overlay. It's just a kind of a color change indicator. And if I had to give it a subtype, I don't know, oscillator, because it goes below the chart. That's really all I got. You'll see it in a minute. And uh, here's something interesting. As an exit indicator, I think this is something you really should test out. And we'll talk about that in a moment too. But let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderfully bizarre, not so bizarre, indicator. So you can see we have these lines here. I don't know what they do. Dan probably does, but it doesn't matter because we take them off anyway. And the indicator looks like this when we're done with it. Now, it is a color change indicator. So anytime it goes from gray to something, you know, if it's gray to red, as soon as it does that, that's going to be your short signal. And as soon as it turns to green, that's going to be your long. Um, not great examples here, obviously, but you know that's why you test and tweak and do all those things. Um, what's interesting, though, is the exit indicator portion of it. I would say as soon as whatever color you're on changes back to gray, I think there are opportunities there for you to use this as an exit indicator. Now, we don't really test those here because it's almost impossible because you have to test it against a full system that you already have put together. At least that's how I've always done it. So you won't really see any results from us on the indicator profile series. But again, uh, personally, I am very happy to bring something to you that could be used for that purpose. Yeah, but this one's pretty cut and dry, right? Goes off of gray to a, to a different color, then that's the direction you go. And then for exit indicator purposes, when it goes back to gray right here, that's obviously going to be an exit. Everybody got it? Good. Let's test this out. Now, please know you got to test these yourself. Don't go by what we show you. Everybody knows that, right? Okay. So also in this video, what you're going to get down below in the description, as always, is a link to my automation blog that shows you how to test this yourself on the MT4 strategy tester. You're going to get Dan's blog that goes into the tweak settings, all the great history behind this, the math, all that good stuff that we don't cover here, and a place where you can download this yourself. And in addition to these things, from this point on, I'm going to add a secondary email that Dan had just created. If you have any suggestions for indicators you want to see, um, don't put them down in the description. Email them to Dan directly, and he will just put them on the spreadsheet for later. Certainly no guarantee we're going to get to them right away. But a few of the suggestions that we've seen, uh, we don't currently have on the spreadsheet. So that's interesting. Uh, we would be happy to put them on there and test them out. Um, understand that most of them don't fit our criteria or they don't perform well enough to be shown on the indicator profile series, but we will put them on the spreadsheet. And that new email down below in the description is how you submit yours. Got it? All right, let's move on to the testing. We will start with the Euro dollar and pretty nice healthy amount of trades. Good ROI on both ends and a really high win-loss ratio there too. Moving on to gold, hello. Really good on the daily. 
um, kind of low on the trades. So if you're just a gold trader, you might get a little bored, but that ROI is really, really good, especially as a jumping off point. And even the default was really nice, but you didn't hardly get any trades with that. Gold has been such a wild card these last few months with the, with the indicator profile series, but moving on to the S and P also very nice, healthy amount of trades, really good win loss ratios here. I mean, this thing really is hitting. And then for Bitcoin towards the end here, good, better on the four hour than the daily, but the daily is going to give you the, probably the amount of trades that's closer to what you're looking for. And even still, I would not be mad at this as a starting off point at all. So a really nice find this week and something you can even try as an exit indicator too. I was pretty excited to bring this one to you. So I hope you enjoyed it and understand that we do this all the time. Subscribe, hit the bell, give us a like if you like what we're doing here. Uh, we got all sorts of stuff going on. We have a trading psychology podcast on Mondays, an investment podcast on Saturdays, and indicator profile series videos every Wednesday. We don't stop. You don't stop either. Go get it.